How much do we lose from cyber attacks or cyber crime? What's the actual cost to the world? Don't feel bad that you don't know. Nobody does. You probably wonder why we're here. I mean, you have great minds at the intersection of commerce and technology, which is so much of what's going on right outside this restaurant. The lines between industries are blurring. We've got payment information in a number of different places and connected devices and internet of things. And it's really hard to figure out how that all fits together. Among software developers, you're known as code vicious. <laughs> that makes you a bit of an outlaw, but you're a white hat. Humans aren't very good at understanding complexity, right? And we've continued to build more and more complex systems of the attackers, the bad guys. They're always out there. You know, there's a billion people connected to the internet. If one-tenth of one percent of those people are bad actors, that's a huge hidden army of people attacking systems in the world. Phil, you lead the Global Cyber Alliance. Does that mean that we're thinking about how to come up with more global standards? Someone in England or Wales is roughly 14 times more likely to have their computer attacked or to lose their personal information than they are to be robbed. Wow. And nobody around the world is responding to this like it's that degree of problem. Well, we had a global manufacturer that they had a cyber attack on their quality control system. So for 18 months, every product passed. They saw competitive differentiation disappear overnight. Now that we've heard the worst that can happen, <laughs> is there anything we can talk about that, that represents progress? We need to change the way we think. Yes. The design principles of the internet are open, which means that anyone who's trying to contact me, I'm going to do as much as possible to fulfill their request. That is a great idea for a research network. That is a terrible <laughs> idea for the modern internet. You know, I used to say, if you gave me a dollar on a security budget, I'm gonna spend 75 cents of that on training. Mm -hmm. Because that's the biggest impact, whether it be the consumer, employees, or business partners. If I can train them not to click that link, if I can train them to think about what could go wrong or what- That's not a technology thing, though. That's a human thing. That is a human thing. As KPMG advises financial service providers, what's the big concern? The pace of innovation and the rapid disruption is a challenge for many of our clients at KPMG. Our commerce lives are being unbundled by technology. And many times, how do we actually secure all this innovation becomes an afterthought. And so don't wait until the trouble happens. Exactly. But do also it. don't let it get in the way and paralyze you so that you're not innovating. You can never get 100% secured. That balance between risk and reward has to be considered in almost every case. 